Hi everyone and welcome to Tuesday, it's my Fresh Off The Hook Tuesday slot. Um, welcome again to all the new members, there's like 50 of us and I'm trying to go through the list and make sure that I'm subscribed to everyone and catching up with all the videos, so that's been keeping me busy. Um, but it's lovely to see, like I've said before, so welcome. And thank you to everyone who has clicked that subscribe button. Um, I do try to go in and say thank you to subbing, but um, I'm not the best person at checking my emails. So when I do check it and see blah 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 has subscribed, then I'll say thank you. But for those of you who I missed, um, please take this as a thank you. Um, and for those of you who already had a thank you, thank you again. So what have I got to show you this week? Last week I showed you these gloves. Um, oh, I've put my label on them. These are my new labels. It says, oh, there you go. It says Nifty Creations Handmade in Kent. Because I live in Kent in England. And um, I finally did the cowl to match. Um, and I need to put the buttons on. So these will go with these. And the cream hat that I showed you last week with the brim. So, just got to put some buttons on there. I've figured out that what I'm going to do from now on, because what I have been doing is putting a row of buttons across here and fastening it like that. But then I thought it kind of leaves this bit a bit open and can possibly curl up. So, what I'm going to do is put the same three buttons, but put one here, one here, and one there. And hopefully, that would make it a little bit more secure. And you can, well, We'll see what that. We'll see how that turns out. Um, so that is part of the stuff that needs to go to the shop. Um, I've also done a black hat. It's black brown. Sorry, it's um, <clears throat> brown, cream, and blue. And it's just done. It's a bit of a slouchy hat. I've done single crochet around the rim. And this I did in um, cross, what's it called? Is it cross stitch? It can't be cross stitch. It's gone out of my head. Anyway, um, these are just crosses across here. And excuse the tails. I haven't done the cowlers yet, but I have done the hand warmers. And I did them in the exact same style as the hat. So, <clears throat> so it's got just a single crochet around here. And I did the cross stitches around here so it matches the hat. Then I did a bag. Um, I think I spoke about this last week that I had to do a little bag for a little girl. It's part of their Christmas family um, photos that they're doing. And everyone apparently is going to be wearing purple and grey. So the grandma asked me, who I work with, she asked me for a bag. Um, so I did a little fat bottom bag, it's grey and purple, and I did a flap here and the fastening is just a little silver button. The lining, I thought she's eight years old and I was going to try and find something that was a bit zingy, but I ended up, um, I found these stars, um, the lining is um, these little stars, so I'm hoping she likes that. And... I did a little butterfly in grey and purple as well. I'm going to attach a clip to this so that she can have it on the bag or have it in her hair if she wants. And the pattern for this is from, I think it's called Shop Etsy, and I'll put a link at the bottom. Um, 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 what else? I am in the middle of... A set for a nine month old I'm really hoping this fits um, her mum asked for fuchsia and black well pink and black and I thought fuchsia might stand out really well so this is what I've come up with as a hat with little flaps um, I added just so that it would keep its shape before I put the flaps on I did put a row of elastic just so that it would kind of keep its shape there and just did some tassels um, coming down here did the flower didn't do it detachable because I thought she's young don't want to pull any off and um, anything so 
that's the hat for her and um, I did a jacket which I need to put buttons on it's a simple um, hexagon baby jacket like what I did previously with the white yellow and grey I think um, and that's how I did it I need to put the buttons on like I said and it's my first time doing a hood um, I got the idea for the hood from I think is it Mikey Mikey Smale I don't know I know it's Mikey but I think it's Mikey Smale Mikey Smale I'm not sure how it, it's pronounced but um and I went back to find the video and could not find it for the life of me but I remembered that he said this area here oh I need to cut that off this area here when you get to around here you just do two whatever the stitch it was you're using and here it was um double crochet just do two double crochet in every stitch around here on the foundation layer when you're joining the hood and that's what I did and that was the only increase I did and then it just came up it's got quite a bit of depth and then you just work it up to as high as you need it and then you just stitch it together this was quite pointy and what I did was just turn it inside out stitch it across I may try and get rid of this kind of pointy bit but stitch it across so it's less pointy on the outside I am doing a blanket to match so I'm doing a star blanket that should go with this finally just to break up what I've been doing um, I did oh no this I did ages ago but never attached the hooks it's just some <coughs> corkscrew earrings and I don't know if you can see it but it's just white normal um, crochet thread and then around on the edge I just did a row of some sparkly um, yarn I don't know if you can see the sparkles um, and yes to get away from all the wool and the yarn and all the different projects that I've been doing um, I made some flower earrings flower feather earrings it's the very first time that I've ever done it um, I've got these feathers from a shop that's called Hobbycraft um, you get loads of stuff in there but the prices are not nice um, but these feathers are really pretty I don't know if they were sprayed that way or if they if it came if that's how they come but um, I thought they're quite cute and that is my first attempt at feather earrings just added some beads at the top and that's the two of them so that is what I've been keeping myself busy with for the past two weeks so um, yeah like the video thumbs up if you do um, click subscribe if you're a new um, watcher and don't forget all the other family members there is so much to see so you've got no excuse don't bother watching all the music videos anymore just check out all the family members throughout the week and yep I will see you soon have fun have a great week and happy crocheting bye and on Wednesday we she's going to make a video and everything is going to be okay people and don't worry she's going to be okay that has just prompted me that there will be a little segment of my sons because I made them oh run and get your jacket run and get your jacket and Shawnee's I made them um I made them some hats and I made my son some gloves last night because he lost his gloves and I totally forgot to show you did you show the gloves on your video <clears throat> I don't need Shawnee's gloves okay. The hook Tuesday, and this is what my mum made me some nice gloves. And it has three different colours in one. So if I just put them on, <clears throat> see, yeah, it's a bit hard to see. Yeah, and see these bumps these bumps they they're just making it look nice. nice and the other bits um on my four fingers see 
So bye and see you later. Bye. Right. The hats yes. um these are hold on. Just simple um beanie hats <laughs> and they my little one supports Chelsea so I got these off eBay and just stuck it <coughs> to the top and did the tassels. Um, um my second you've got that on your video already. My older boy supports Arsenal. Yeah! <laughs> Arsenal's the best people and say yeah 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 okay <laughs> and <laughs> so yeah I got the Arsenal um, patch off eBay as well and that's that I will put a picture up at the end so you can see it properly on these gloves